These two are pretty cool off-road electric bikes. Let's check them out today. Hey, what's up guys? Rado here. These right here are e-bikes from Paki Papi. This is a boxer model. So this Paki Papi company reached out to us and wanted me to review their e-bike. I talked to my son, he's 13. He kind of wants to be independent, wants to be uh, able to go wherever he wants on his own. And so far I have to drive him everywhere. So we got two bikes. This one is for my son, this one is for me. Actually, my son is really active on this thing. Uh, already put over 300 miles, which is quite a bit. We have these bikes for a little bit over a month. So this is not a review without any testing. We actually put a lot of miles. I'm gonna show you the display, show you how many miles is on the bike. Let's look at all the details and then go for some fun ride. These two e-bikes came in a box and it took maybe like 45 minutes to assemble one. No problem at all. Everything that you need, all the tools that you need are included in the box. And if you are somewhat handy, you will have no problem putting these bikes together. They also come with a two year warranty and I'm gonna have link below in the video where you can get it. Uh, they are on a sale right now. Class two, 750 watt the motor, 20 miles per hour. That's without you pedaling. So if you just push the button, this thing can go without you pedaling and it does 20 miles per hour, which is quite fast for a bicycle. But if you actually pedal, my son got it up to like 35 miles per hour. This right here are the controls, these buttons over here. Let's, let me turn it on with the power button. Well, hello there. This is my son's bike and he has, check it out, 357 miles, 14 hours riding on this thing. So right here, you can go up and down with your electric assist. Five would be the most. I usually use maximum because I'm a lazy guy. And you can turn on your headlight and you have a couple other options here. Over here, Shimano switch, you can go uh, seven different gears. Uh, I think that's plenty, that's all you need. And on this side right here, it's the throttle. That's what you're gonna push down if you wanna go fast. This is the button that allows you to go without pedaling. Comes with a Logan hydraulic brakes that work really good. I like the feel, they come uh, out of the box, ready to go, front and rear. You have no problem stopping this thing. The disc on this thing is uh, is quite big. I was actually really happy because some of these e-bikes, they do come with the, uh, with the cable brakes that are still disc brakes, but they don't work as well as these hydraulics brakes. We got pretty standard seven speed Shimano shifter right here. It works seamless, there's no problem right there. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys, check out all the welds. They are probably done at a factory by the, by the robot, but uh, nevertheless, they look really good. I like the consistency. This thing is really pretty well built. So that was my first impression when I look at everything. I like the welds, uh, the color, and it just kind of made me feel confident to ride this thing. One thing that definitely caught our attention are these white and cushy seats with a hole in the middle. They look pretty big, right? But uh, I'm telling you guys, uh, riding this thing, this is not really a downhill bike or some aggressive mountain bike where you need to be standing on the pedals and be really aggressive. You do spend a lot of time sitting on the seat when you ride these things, right? Even off-road, on the dirt roads, you will see in the videos. We did uh, ride it a lot and uh, we did sit a lot on the seats. So having this white, nice cushion, it's a big plus. If you just have a normal, regular, small seat, you will definitely have your butt sore. Comes with a front suspension that is adjustable right on this dial, you can adjust uh, your uh, compression. And on the other side, you can actually lock it. So if you don't want to use uh, suspension in the front, you can lock it and it will be rigid. Also comes with the shock for the rear. And I like the entire construction here, if you look at it, if you see how everything is pivoting here. It, uh, it looks kind of robust and uh, you can definitely feel it when you ride. It does give you plush ride compared to a hardtail. Another thing that I was really impressed is this LED headlight that is really bright. If you're riding in the night, my son sometimes come home a little bit after dark. This thing can actually illuminate your road. I tested it a couple times. We're gonna show it on the video too. And I was impressed how bright this thing actually is. All right, so this is how bright is the headlight. And in the back, you have this uh, tail light. You can change the mode on that thing. There you go. So it's quite visible. And the heart of this thing is the 750 
watt motor in the back that is quite powerful it can get you up to like 30 35 miles per hour and the battery here in the frame that is 48 volt 20 ampere hours and this thing actually lasts for 40 to 80 miles so usually we would uh, ride it for two days and then charge it overnight and we are good to go for another two days Bucky Puppy also offers a lot of aftermarket things you can buy on their website. For example, these holes are for the front basket. I think if this thing is your beach cruiser or your commuter or your grocery gatherer, you can get the basket in the front and uh, it's just going to be more versatile and you will be able to do more things. All right, so here we go. We have number five assist. Let's see how this thing feels. We go a little bit uphill and it goes with just the throttle. I'm not pedaling right now and then if I let go and I just pedal a little bit it will start grabbing the power. I am on number 7 here which is the highest gear and I'm going uphill pedaling with the assist number 5 doing 20 miles an hour 21 no problem. It feels really fun guys if you didn't try the e-bike yet this thing when it uh, assists you, when you just pedal and the electricity does the, do the rest, it's really fun feeling. Alright, let's go up to this hill and then we're gonna turn around. Look at the brakes, wow, instant. Love the brakes. These hydraulic brakes are something else, I'm telling you, look at that. It's really instant. I can really imagine having this bike when you live somewhere in the city like especially San Diego or somewhere else look at that look it's just grabbing and you go to the beach ride or just a city ride or by the shore it's just an amazing thing you can do 40 miles in a day or 60 miles in a day on single charge look at this I'm going 33 34 35 oh my goodness 7 6 7 8 38 miles an hour, look at that, which is crazy. And look, this is the speed, how I pedal, and it keeps that 36. Because I just pedal a little bit, but that electric power is assisting a lot. Look at that. Okay, so imagine now we are somewhere at the beach. And then you go for this little cruise. You can cover a big area. And it also gives you a little, little exercise, not as much as a normal bicycle, but it still counts. So if you go 34, 35 miles an hour, you can actually cover a good distance. Timmy has a commute of about eight miles. He can do it in like 10 minutes and he's no problem at all. He didn't need me to drive him for about two months now since we got his bike. And look at the mileage here, 471. He almost put 500 miles on this thing. It's amazing. Dirt roads and maybe some light trails and especially like a commuter, a bike in the city, a little bit off-road, beach and uh, you know just have a bike all over for a kid for a teenager to be mobile so you don't have to drive them everywhere this thing is ideal it's really nicely done i like the design the speed is fun lights even horn <laughs> it's really a fun little thing so if i stop pedaling just hit the button it should go up to like 20 miles an hour there you go so if you are tired, you don't want to pedal at all, you can just hold the button and it can keep 20 miles an hour. You can get back home like that. Probably can do around 40 miles like that. Let's hit a little easy dirt road. See how it goes. You can stand up a little bit. And once you stop pedaling, the assist stops as well. So if you want to slow down, just stop pedaling and then it's not assisting you anymore. In four. And these kind of little bumps, it's okay. You know, the suspension you have on a bike, as I said, the light trails, fire roads, this thing is fun because you have a fat tires that also help with 
eating those little bumps plus you have front and rear suspension so you can definitely feel that the ride is much smoother than on some other bikes all right my friends so this is a wrap of this Paki Papi e-bike review hopefully you enjoyed the video and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you guys later